Muni lovers, uh, it's Jeremy Geckner here for the Springfield Muni. We are back here at the opening of Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, the Muni debut for this show in our magic-filled 51st season here in 2016. We have here Jacob Dieters playing uh, Adolfo Pirelli, and I'm sorry, I forgot your name, actually. Levi Ermintrous. Levi Ermintrous. See, I didn't even want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> playing uh, Toby. So, uh, yeah. guys, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Uh, so this is Sweeney Todd, one of Stephen Sondheim's most iconic works. Um, obviously, so many people have seen this show. They've they've feelings about this show. Um, what do you guys feel about this show? Like when you started rehearsing it, like with the message of it, and how has it been trying to bring it to life? So I think at first, um, uh, the first couple of rehearsals going into it, it's very overwhelming. It's, the whole <laughs> experience of just the the music itself is so intricate and so um, so challenging. Um, but um, I've, I really I think that th this is one show that a show that I've, I've wanted to do for a long time, yeah. and um, finally you know have gotten the opportunity to do so. And uh, the message really is um, it's it's really it's really fascinating, and unique. I think for, specifically for for my my character as this kind of like crummy um, <laughs> <laughs> this crummy slum bag who who comes in and uh, and is trying to. Uh, you know, uh, rip off, you know, rip off Sweeney Todd, and um, I think that you know the message of love is is still constant, even though that you know that it's um, a little darker and you know a little more a little twisted. Yeah. But you know, the, <laughs> uh, I think that you know the message from from Sweeney Todd comes that you know that out of this, you know, that he he's willing to do this for love. So I was in the same boat when it came to starting the rehearsal process and noticing all the intricacies and wanting to do this show for such a long time. Ever since I started getting involved in musical theater, playing Toby has been my dream role of all dream roles. Really? And finally, I got the chance to play it. <laughs> and um, I'm just so, so excited to be doing this production. Um, I personally think it's Sondheim's best, and it's an honor to be able to be on the stage performing his work as the role that I've wanted to be for so long. That's so amazing. Uh, yeah, you guys talk about the Sondheim score. Just nobody like him in theater history. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, oh, you gosh. know, you talk about just the, the body of work, first off, but then just his style and how he does the song. And you guys get to sing two of my favorite songs, obviously, <laughs> the Adolfo Pirelli song. Yeah. I don't even remember what the title is, but it's just amazing, like, how, <laughs> you, how you come out there, just all, like, bombastic, and, of course, Not While I'm Around, one of the most gorgeous songs I think Sondheim's ever written. Talk about those songs for a little bit, what it's yeah. like performing those. Uh, Jake, we'll start with you. So, uh, the contest is the, 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 there big, you go. the song. There you go. <laughs> so, it's, it's, it's really a fun play, uh, just kind of a play uh, back and forth between, um, between Todd, Todd and, and Pirelli. Um, Pirelli, you know, is is trying to make a, you know trying to make a huge uh, be a, a big uh, showman and uh, show up uh, Todd and the rest of the, the crowd that's there. Um, and once once he realizes that uh, Todd's not really making uh, too much of a move when it comes to sh to shaving, um, he kind of just c continues to show off and flourish and have high C's. Uh, yes. and <laughs> in just just an insane uh, range. You know. um, and the, the, it's I mean throughout I mean, just typical side time, just very chromatic uh, chromatic lyrics uh, or uh, lyrics and lyricism, and it's just it's it's really a, a fun fun song to, to get up there, uh, go on there, and then um, yeah, just have a great time. I it's, I enjoy doing it every night, and uh, just I I find, I find I find new ways to make it new and interesting every single night. Mm, that means I got to come back multiple yeah. times. <laughs> uh, Leo, what about you? What about not while I'm around? Well, actually, the first experience I had with this song, not while I'm around. I was in a jazz choir, and we sang an arrangement of it. And this was before oh I was in, uh, before I was involved in theater. Yeah. And so I had no idea that it was from some dark show. <laughs> and in th that entire concert, I was like, "This is my favorite song." <laughs> and then later, a few years, I was watching a production of Sweeney Todd, a recording of it. And not while I'm around starts, I had to pause, sit back for 20 minutes, and I was like, "I've sang this before." <laughs> <laughs> Light and bulb. I, I was like, what? <laughs> this is musical theater? Yeah. And that was one of the main reasons why I became so involved in theater, because I made those connections. Because theater doesn't have to just live in the theater. It can live oh, yeah. everywhere you are. And so that's my connection I have to Novel Lime Around. And so it, it's a really emotional experience for Toby and me on yeah. stage. God, that's going on a sticker or something, cool. man. That's awesome. <laughs> well, guys, I cannot wait to see it. I'm yeah. sure everyone else can. Thank you very much. Break a leg Thanks on your runs. Nice.